All right, thank you, Brian. When family members are exposed to COVID-19, health leaders say that some may be accidentally exposing more people by not understanding the quarantine guidelines. And also taking unnecessary tests. 2 News reporter Caroline Moore is live in the studio with an explanation of quarantine guidelines for exposed families. Caroline? One of the worst thing health leaders say that families are doing is not abiding by quarantine and isolation guidelines. Once a household member tests positive, others need to quarantine as well, which may be difficult with young kids. No cut and dry. There's no, you know, it's just kind of what can we do to kind of minimize the germs in the house. Families are facing new obstacles returning to work and school as Omicron cases continue to rise. Health leaders say families who have COVID positive members living in the same household may be misunderstanding quarantine guidelines, thus spreading cases in communities. If the child can't separate from the parent, then their five day quarantine uh, would not start until after the parents quarantine or isolation period is over. And so that's the part of the problem is you start to see um, isolation and quarantines back to back to back. Patterson says if one family member tests positive and the entire household is experiencing symptoms, you may want to save the trip to buy tests and everyone stay inside. Uh, there's no reason to test the rest of those people. They're symptomatic. They've had exposure to a positive. They're probable cases. Uh, there's no sense wasting those tests. There's no sense having something shoved up your nose. Uh, call them all positive, have them all hunker down uh, until their symptoms get appreciably better, and then they can go out for five days with a mask after that occurs. To get back to normal faster, Miami County Public Health suggests families hunker down together. Even if some don't show symptoms, it's better to be safe than sorry. Limit other people's exposure, you know, it it could limit quarantine periods, it could, can, you know, all the things. And coming up on five on two, mental health specialists say parents need to be talking with their students and addressing how to adapt when school guidelines change. Live in studio, Caroline Morse, two news working for you.